I began the ephemeris series when I became thoroughly disgusted with what was happening with our political leaders at the very highest level. At the same time, uh, I was venting my frustration. I had the feeling that it has since been borne out by time that we would soon forget the misdeeds of our, of our president and his staff. Printmaker Sidney Chaffetz, Professor Emeritus of Art, retired from The Ohio State University in 1982. Recently, I spoke with him about his work. It, it's something that I am compelled to do, document and record. I feel that uh, we live in a, an age of information. We get it in all kinds of media. And uh, historically, writing has been a part of uh, many works of art. And uh, in a way, I feel I'm just maintaining a tradition. Uh, the prints primarily consist of uh, etchings, various forms of the etching processes. And one of the chief components of the uh, ephemera series are the symbols for the maggots, which I believe are appropriate symbols for corruption. And the source for the maggots, of course, came out of my reading of medieval history, when uh, during the plague, bodies were piling up so fast, the burial carts couldn't come around quickly enough to dispose of them, and consequently, maggots would soon emerge and fester on the bodies. So that explains the symbolism of maggotry. <laughs> As an artist, I'm very much aware of the technology available to me. And so I, I really enjoy the opportunity to use the photo techniques in my work for enlarging, duplicating, combining, and montage, or collage, all of the uh, photographic elements that we have today in our culture. I think it's a fair game for artists. I, my, my work is at the point now where I can focus solely on what it is I want to make a picture of. I am thoroughly familiar with all of the technical processes, and uh, it, it's, it's a great feeling, really, to be at that stage where I just sit down and concentrate on the images that I want to make. There's so much that I feel I want to do. Before I do any work, I generally will make a whole series of drawings. And the drawings allow me the opportunity to work out the compositional aspects of an image, where shapes should be, how big they should be, what the contrasting elements are going to be. All these I can work out beforehand. Having said, said that, I still don't work from a blueprint. There's a lot of spontaneous marking that takes place once I actually begin working. I work primarily in three media. Uh, lithography has been the media I, medium I've been working with the last couple of years almost exclusively. Lithography is one of the unique printing processes in that it doesn't involve cutting into a surface, 
below the surface, and it doesn't involve uh, any cutting of the surface whatsoever. It's a chemical process based on the principle of oil and water not mixing. Currently, I'm completing the Iran Gate series. I'm also dealing a lot with limited edition books. I'm finishing up a project with Mark Strand, the poet. I'm interested in uh, continuing doing frontispieces for limited edition poetry and prose. We have several projects in the, in the works. One of the upcoming projects is portraits for Samuel Johnson's six chief lives, the lives of the poet, plus which are... Uh, ...that interests me. It all starts with... A